Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World and I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup trans, do subscription box unboxings, mystery box unboxings, makeup hauls, whatever I can think of beauty wise, subscription box wise, and figure out how to film for you guys. Today I've got all of my Ipsy boxes for June 2023. I have two boxes plus some add-ons to share with you guys. So if you want to see what I got, keep on watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So happy you all stopped by to check out my Ipsy video. This is the Boxy Charm by Ipsy's. Um, I don't get the regular glam bag, but I do have two subscriptions. One is now a Boxy Charm by Ipsy, and the other one is a Boxy Charm by Ipsy with a boost. Uh, they combined all our Boxy Charm and Ipsy subscriptions, which kind of works out for me because now I have, I was, had paid annually for Boxy Charm and Ipsy. And when they combined them, they just, you know, totaled them all up. So I've got like a year and a half worth <laughs> of Boxy Charm by Ipsy's coming to me, uh, that are, prepaid from all my subscriptions. Now, if I'll continue on at the end of those year and a half, I don't know. We'll see. But it's kind of fun to share with you guys. Uh, sometimes I do get duplicates, so I, I do share them. I have a daughter-in-law and, you know, and I just keep a basket just in case, you know, I decide to do a giveaway at some point. <laughs> I've tried them in the past. The last one was successful. That was my fab fit fun mystery bundle um showdown with wendy jean and i had a uh a winner for that and that that worked out well um in the past it hadn't worked out well <laughs> but i mean everybody got their prizes one i couldn't get to her because she was international and it was just at the time it was during covid and i just could not ship to her they would not let me ship anything to that area and it would have been super expensive so i ended up sending her like a starbucks gift card so i felt bad but you know it is what it is so anyway fab or uh, not fab fit fun we're do, we're doing ipsy now <laughs> my my fab fit fun is done all right so the first box and um, i'll try to put timestamps down below in case you can't hang out for the whole thing but i decided to just do it all in one video because i've been having a hard time getting things edited and up with my work schedule i don't i don't know um but so it is what it is i'm just uh, and i might change it again at some point but so this is my boxy charm by ipsy box let's open her up and that's what she looks like a little sneak peek not too much and um uh, so the box of charm by Ipsy um, box is a $28 a month, I do believe. You get five full-size item items. It's like the old um, boxy charm premium. No, it's like the old regular boxy charm. Okay, and it, it was the glam bag plus. They both had five full-size items. They choose two items for you, and you get to choose three items. They have three different categories of things you can choose from. So let's see. The first thing they chose for me. All right. So the first item is they chose for me. This is from Beauty Bakery. It's called a lemon bar. That's what she looks like. Let me take it out of here. This is a little face palette. So that's cute. And this retails for $18. And Let's see. It's um, get ready to serve some looks on the go with this pocket-sized palette featuring three universal shades, contour bronzer, and highlighter. So perfect for travel. The long wear fade-free formula keeps you looking sweet all day. So whether you're craving a natural glow or full glam, this palette has got you covered. Ooh, it's very powdery. So that's what they look like. You see. We'll kick up in the pan there. 
Oh, I got dry hands. And I moisturize my hands. But they're very pretty. Okay. All right. So that's the first thing. $18. Let's work that off. The next, this app, it's so slow going back. All right. This they also chose for me it's from J Lo Beauty, and that's that hit single gel cream cleanser, and this is five fluid ounces. Let's see what she looks like. It's pretty packaging. It's a good size for a cleanser. Uh, let's see, it retails for thirty eight dollars, and that's one hundred and fifty mLs. Full size. Want to feel fresh, clean, and ready to slay the day? This gel to cream cleanser can help with that. It melts away impurities and makeup like a boss. And thanks to its lipids, rice bran, and fruit extracts, with a dreamy light floral scent and a lathering formula, it'll leave your skin feeling super soft, refreshed, and ready for whatever's next. All right, so just so you know, it has a light floral scent. In case you don't like that, it does have a safety seal. So I'm going to leave the safety seal on for the moment. But when I'm ready for a new cleanser, this looks like a nice one to try. And let's see. So the next thing, let's see. Yes. Okay. The next three things I chose. This is Tovegan Color Food Series 50 ml Orange Oasis Serum. Um, and the choices this month, they didn't give me a lot of makeup choices, which, um, or, they, or there's like a bunch of lipsticks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, I, I don't want two, three different lip products in one box. So I chose this serum. I, I believe I checked to make sure there's no niacinamide in it. Because if you all remember, I've recently developed an allergy to niacinamide and or vitamin C. And of course, this is orange in it. So we're going to try this out. Cute packaging. All right. Kind of smells like orange. All right. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Maybe it'll help my dry hands. <laughs> See what it does. This smooths out there. there. Might be some leftover contour on my hand. Okay, so let me try that. Like I said, the, the choices that there weren't wasn't much um, that I could choose from. And let me tell you what this retails. And this retail for $26, 50 ml full size. It's a light citrus scented serum here to quench your thirst, packed with vitamins and minerals from antioxidant rich fruits like grapefruit and orange. This lightweight water type serum will help give you the bouncy, firm, and glowing skin of your dreams. Put it on after toner. And make sure the capsules are dissolved by massaging them gently into the skin. I do not feel any capsules. Oh, but my skin does feel nice here. Okay. So, but I didn't feel any capsules, but I guess there's capsules in there. Okay. Next. <laughs> Bubble wrap. So, there was a bit more um, rapid. Um, packaging inside here in case you didn't notice i pulled out those um brown papers goodness gracious now i can't get the bubble wrap off <laughs> this one's safety sealed around here it's an apricot cleansing oil and i chose this and it's from dirty lamb i think i might have this i seem to remember this brand somewhere uh, it's Clean Beauty, and it's $42, two ounces, full size. Melt off your stubborn makeup, even waterproof, and give your skin the deep pore cleanse that it craves with help from this cleansing oil. It helps to lift away dirt, debris, and oil without clogging your pores, and the calming lavender and ylang ylang scent help to soothe the senses, too. Um, okay. Let's see. I want I want to smell. I don't remember reading about the lavender. I don't 
particularly care for lavender. And I've gotten essential oils with a ylang ylang and it's super strong. So I hope this isn't too, too strong. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> So I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. That was super strong smelling. Uh, so maybe I'll share that with somebody else who likes that kind of smell on their face. Yeah, like I said, I, I bought an essential oil that was ethangaline. And I haven't used it, even in diffusing, because it just seemed too strong for me. <laughs> That's a $42 bottle. Okay. So... There's one more item in here. So this one is uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a satin lipstick in the shade Rose. And I have a couple of her lipsticks. And this was like, the like I said, this was the best thing in my choices for this product. It's a satin lipstick. And, and I did double check. I have similar colors, but not... The, the rose color. That's what she looks like. Okay, and let's do a little swatch. All right, so that's pretty. It feels smooth. It feels a little creamy. So I I find um, matte lipsticks. I te they tend a lot of them tend to dry out on me, and I always end up putting a gloss on top. So, set, and we'll try this out and see. This retails for $23, full size. It says, your search for the perfect rosy red lipstick ends now. This game-changing satin formula has intense color payoff, luscious wearability, and is deliciously smooth with a bullet tip that gives you pro-level control. You can go from natural to glam in a flash. Plus, the gorgeous rose gold packaging is super luxe and makes this the cutest accessory to throw in your purse. Okay, so yes, I do like the packaging. It is very pretty. Okay, so the only uh, makeup in this was my lemon bar, the face palette, and the lipstick. All right, they chose this for me. I chose this. Then they chose a face wash. And then I chose a cleansing oil, which I probably won't use because that's way too strong for me. And then this orange Oasis serum. So... This isn't the best box, you know. <laughs> nah, I, I wasn't very happy with my choices. I knew I was going to be, uh, you know, excited to get some J-Lo Beauty. It is fairly new out there. So I, I, I don't know why they're showing up in the boxes, though, if they're that new. I wonder if she's just not doing well. This, this is pretty high-end and expensive. All right. So there's that. Those of you wondering, the total value of that first box, which is just the regular box return by Ipsy, was $147. All right, so this is my box return by Ipsy with the Beauty Boost. That's a little sneak peek there. And you might notice one uh, duplicate ready sitting right on top. Uh, this is the Beauty Bakery Lemon Bar Face Palette again. And so I'm not going to open this one. I swatched it already. So now I've got two. So I've got one to share. And that was $18. Okay. So the next thing in my box, and they chose that for me also. Then this is one that was chosen for me. Color Boss Squad Eyeshadow Palette and Call the Shots. I'm not mad about this. It looks like a very uh, neutral palette. Multi-dimensional eye color quad, four by 1.5 grams or 0.05 ounces. Okay, I love the packaging. They do have beautiful packaging. And I have used uh, Il Macchias for the last quad I got from them. I did have to declutter and I shared it with my daughter-in-law because I developed an allergic reaction to it. And that was a more of a rosy pink toned palette. So I'm glad this is more neutrals, but look at the shine. Look at it. It's going to get dirty. It's got a mirror. It's very heavy. <clears throat> so it looks like it has three shimmers and one matte. And this is retails for $42. All 
And this is just eyeshadow palette is the ultimate quad to help create the perfect smoky eye, including a versatile matte brown, which is right here. It feels very creamy. And three glistening golden shimmers. Ooh, they all feel pretty creamy. Yeah, okay, all right. And the formula glides on like a dream, blends like a boss, stays put um, all day long. So go ahead, call the shots, and create your own look. And here we go. I just went in one time. Very nice color payoff. Very pigmented, very creamy. So, yeah, not happy about that. I mean, not mad about that. I am happy. <laughs> Do I say not happy about that? I'm happy about that. Okay. So there's that. $42. It's kind of expensive, which is why I don't have a whole lot of Il Maquillage. And the last thing I bought from them, I bought a collection from Kathleen Lights. And I bought the whole collection. I was all excited. Made a beautiful look with it. And then I had an allergic reaction. And I ended up sending back the whole collection and getting a refund. Because it was not a cheap collection. And I was like, I am not going to keep this. <laughs> I'm not going to share it. I'm going to just send it back and get my money back. So, and it was kind of a pain because I got like two different people and one person was like, oh no, we can't refund you that. We can give you store credit. I'm like, no, I don't want $150 in store credit from a, from a brand that um, I'm not having good results with. And then I found someone who got my money refunded. So it was kind of a pain to go through that. But this feels nice, so I'll be happy to try this. All right. So the next thing, uh, the next three items I chose. Again, this is the $28 box. You pay an extra $15 for the Beauty Boost. And I had prepaid for this. This was the old BoxyCharm Premium where you got six full-size products. So this one I picked. It's from Half Caked. It's a double dipper color duo in Girls Tour. So how does this open? Here we go. So that's cute packaging. It is plastic. That's what the back looks like. Little rainbows. Okay. And let's uh, open her up. Can I open her? Ooh. There we go. That's a little difficult to open. It does have a mirror, and I think it has a plastic thing on it. But those are the shades. It looks like a blush and a highlighter. This retails for $18. And it's a cheap palette. This buttery soft duo includes a pink primer infused blush and a light medium copper highlight that will give you a lip from within radiance without any glitter. Wear them alone or layer them together for a flawless look. That will last all day. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. That's pretty. Let's put them next to those eyeshadows. It's more, it's like a coppery kind of um, highlighter. It's a little dark. I don't know. I'll try it. I'll try it and see. Because I've been known to just try various colored eyeshadows. <laughs> All right. So that was $18. So the next thing, I, I have two other things that I chose, and then I'll show you my boost. Uh, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the color Stone. And I picked this. They're open. So, okay. And that's what the shade looks like. Let me put it next to that Anastasia. This is like a very taupey kind of shadow. Okay. So, be happy. It's very soft. Although, I have to say, this was out in my mailbox for at least 24 hours. So, it might not have had time to re-gel up itself. It didn't melt anywhere. 
but we're, we're, we're having a extreme heat warning. And the last time I looked, it was 106 degrees outside here in Tucson, uh, near my house. I'm having a hard time getting my house cool, even with my fairly new AC system. <laughs> I turned the, I, I usually keep it like that it's between 73 and 75. I turn it down to 70, especially while I'm filming in here. I'm in my office and this is always the warmest room in the house. And I actually have the ceiling fan on, which I like never turn on my ceiling fans, but I turned it on. Uh, so this uh, eyeshadow stick retails for $32. And it says, if you can color with a crayon, you can master eyeshadow with this easy to use cream shadow stick. The medium gray brown gl shade glides right on, stays creamy, long enough for you to blend and buff, then sets and will not move. Flake or crease, not move, not flake or crease for 24 hours. Okay. So it says you can blend with your fingertips for an instant wash of color or treat it like a long wearing base for the rest of your lid look. Okay. And then the last thing is from Context. And I have some like lip balms and stuff that I really enjoy from this brand. I think this is an Ipsy brand. Let me scroll down here. So here it is. Lip Lacquer in Come Clean. So that's what she looks like. So I'm not sure. I haven't tried this formula from Context, so I figured why not. Mm. Okay, so there's that. This right here. Might be good with... um with a lip liner, a little bit of a lip liner. I have to see if that dries down and if it, uh, if it dries down too much, you know, if it makes my lips feel dry. But I like the, the bomb, those, they have like tinted bombs and I really like those. So this is six mLs, full size, and it's $24 for this and it says this may be the most perfect matte lipstick ever with full coverage pigmentation and a comfortable creamy consistency this formula is impressively long lasting without the dryness come clean is a neutral peachy nude shade you'll want to wear every day so we'll see we will see all right so now on to the boost so my boost item um, I did not choose what they chose because I have it already, uh, but they had another one. It's a Natasha Denona, one of her midi size palettes. This is the Retro palette. Um, the, the, what they were going to give me was the Retro Glam, but I own that already. I think I got it. Where did I get that? I forget. I think, I, did I buy it? I think I bought it. <laughs> I know I got one. Oh, in my Beautylish box, I got the other one. Uh, yeah, the My Dream palette. So but they had the Retro palette, which I've never bought because um, I'm always afraid of the pink shades. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'll choose it because it's only the extra $15 because this is a $69 palette. And I'm wearing her new Yucca palette today. So far, that's fine. So as long as they're not the pinky shades, I seem to be okay. So let's look at this. Yeah. There's the retro palette. I'm keeping the box because the box has the shades and what their formulas are. They have the cream to powders and stuff like that. And I saw if you're if you have a hard time with her cream to powders, I saw someone post where they were uh, wearing, you know, putting it on and they like pressed it in and then blended it and then they were able to get it to work really nice. So that's what I did today with this. Uh, Yucca palette, I used the cream to powder on the outer edge and I just kind of pressed it in. I used like a firmer brush and it worked, it worked quite well. It did. So let's see what the retro palette looks like. Okay. And Looks like one might be a little, but like I said, it was sitting outside. There she is. Look how pretty she is. So there are a lot of neutrally shades. 
Let me see which ones are Ah! It fell out! Vivian fell out! It's on my desk. Gosh darn it. Is that a cream to powder? Yeah, that's one of the cream to powders. I'll have to see if I can scoop it up off my desk and place it back in there. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. I can't even get a good swatch out of there. There's so little left in the pan. But let's see. Psychedelic and Jude and Glitz. These are kind of shimmery shades. They look pretty. Oh, I'm so sad. The whole thing just fell out on my desk. Yeah, look at that. Look how they swatched. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So there's that. There's that. And I knew I should have known because it was powdery on the mirror from that shade. Oh, it's very sad. <laughs> That's very sad. I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm not going to touch it. It's a, a top part of my desk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hang on while I total up the value of this box. All right. So this box is the $28 plus the $15 for the boost. So it comes to $43 if you're, you know, plus the handling fee and taxes and stuff. Uh, but the box itself without the boost is $134. And there was a $69 product, which was the Natasha Denona palette. So it totals $203, which is uh, kind of equivalent to how the BoxyCharm premiums were. They were always closer to the $200 range. And yeah, uh, <laughs> so I'm just sad that that one shadow fell out. I'm going to try to save it. So hang on while I get my add-ons together for you. Okay, so I believe I salvaged. That Vivian shade, right? Yeah, right here. I was able to scoop it up and slide it in, and then I pressed it in. <laughs> so I'm going to be very gentle with her. And uh, just in case you're wondering, this uh, Context Lip Lacquer has dried down. Okay. The Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick does not dry down. There's some, some transfer. And this is the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick and that's dried down okay so but you might want to know that um all right so my add-ons <laughs> i spent 95 dollars that includes tax and the dollar 99 handling fee but i got some good deals i thought so this first one is from briogeo um, hair care. It's a Be Well Organic Cold Press 100% Castor Oil. I thought I would try that in my hair. I got this for $15 and it doesn't show what the retail price was, but it, it was a, a good deal. So I said, I'll, I'll try that. And I kind of like the bottle. It's like a plasticky glass. It's not glass, but I, I like that. Okay. All right. So the next thing I got, um, metallic duo hair cloth set these were a little these were a little pricey this was 18 dollars for these two and they're just hair cloths and they're smaller than i usually use like this one is a, a long one that's like this long so these are about half that size but i, I thought they were cute and i like to since my hair is longer i like to have some different things as far as my hair goes <laughs> and so they were $18 for that set and then I got some scrunchies star scrunchie set and blue star lavender star black satin and silver satin black satin and silver satin so there they are all right and I don't know this these were eight dollars and you got four of them so I don't I don't know if I like the stretchy you can kind of see the elastic band in there. Like these two are like see-through. I don't know if you can tell. I can't see through the satin ones. So I, I don't know. Um, oh, I dropped one. <laughs> Way down there. So I don't know if I like the elastic bands in these. So, But I'll try them out. It was 
So they were like $2 a piece, you know, $8 for the set. It just feels awful stiff. I think I tried one yesterday. And usually I've got thick hair, but usually I can do my scrunchies like three times. You know, do one, two, three. And the third one I might like to do with like a um, messy bun type of thing. Uh, but these I found out when I tried one last night, I can only do it, go through it twice with my hair. So I'll try that, try that a little more. The next three items, and I took everything out of the wrapper, uh, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the shade 180. I was excited to try this. I have some other Fenty Beauty foundations, um, but they came in like the glass bottles. But I had like shade 160 and 200, and I had to like mix them together to get a good shade for me. And this was in 180, so I said, oh. So, yeah, so it's different packaging. I kind of like that, okay? And so we'll see how this is, and I wouldn't have to mix. But I, I still have them in my everyday makeup drawer. I just haven't used them in a while. I think I just pulled them out again when I saw this and put them in my everyday makeup drawer so I can try it. <laughs> I'm wearing the House Labs thing to, uh, foundation today, which is very pretty. Very pretty on the skin. And then I got it, and that was eleven ninety nine. So I thought that was a great price for this Fenty Beauty foundation. And then I got, I wanted to try the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. And I got it in light 006. It was priced at $18. So I said, so that was a good price. But it's like plastic packaging. So I wasn't expecting that, but it's all clear, see-through, and it's a foundation balm. So I thought, let me try this. My hand is super dry. So that kind of blends in. So I think that's a, a decent shade. I, I'm usually pretty versatile. I find it, I can usually make them work, even if they're off a little bit. I can usually make them work once I put blusher and uh, bronzer and all that stuff on there. But I wanted to try it uh, after all the hype. What was it last year? You know, it went viral. And I didn't buy it then because it was just too expensive. <laughs> so this was $18. And then I got one more item. I've never bought anything from this brand before. It's from Kevin Equan. And this is the Neo Blush in Grapevine. And this was on sale for $15. And this is a very high-end brand. Look at that packaging. I think that packaging is beautiful. It's like a dark purple ombre type of look. And let's show you the blush inside. It comes with a mirror. And it's an ombre kind of blush. So you can go lighter or darker or just blend it all together. I love an ombre blush. I do. I really do. And this is just very cute. So I was excited. Like I said, I've never tried any kind of Benaquan before. And because he is, this is a very, very expensive brand. I said for $15, I want to try the blush and see how it is. And that all came to $85.99 plus $1.99 handling fee plus $7.50 in taxes. Came to $95.48, but it says I saved $109.51. So that was my add-ons. And, and I've been doing good, not getting a lot of add-ons, you know, from the Ipsy stores lately. But I didn't do so well. This And this was just like the beginning of June I ordered all this. Was it June 9th? <laughs> All right, so that's all I got for you. So sorry if this video is a little long for you, but like I said, I'm trying to, um, I've been having a hard time getting to my videos and editing them with my work schedule. So I thought I could put more in each video. Yes, it'll be a little longer, but I'm not, I'm not like posting every day, you know, or I just been having a hard time. So I don't know work. I've been like super tired and I don't know if there's a little depression going on there, but like last weekend I did not film at all, which was not 
like me. I usually take at least one day to put my makeup on and make a few videos, and I did not do that last weekend. So I'm trying to make up for it this weekend. You know, I got my makeup on, <laughs> which is the new Natasha Denona Yucca palette um, on my eyes, and uh, Blend Bunny blush, uh, and uh, Blend Bunny uh, highlighter, not to loosen the palette. So. All right, that's all I got for you. Don't forget to give this video a like, give it a dislike, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Do you prefer the longer format? Do you prefer me to break them up into shorter videos? Um, you know, like I said, I'll try to put timestamps in there for you in case you just, you know, what for whatever, you know. <laughs> so I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.